I've sort of reworked an old classic and it is The Tiger Who Came for a Pint. It's a lovely story. It mixes up two of my favourite things, which is tigers and alcohol. I'll read the story to you now. I've got to use Susie's pen cam though. There was once a tiger who fancied a pint. Not carling, of course, that was too weak and too gassy. He wanted a pint that packs a punch, like a Stella or Cronenberg. The tiger was thirsty and needed something to wash down the zookeeper he'd just eaten. He liked the atmosphere of Weatherspoons, plus he was barred from the King's Head for mauling the darts team. Tiger drank his pint quietly beside the quiz machine. Soon, what with the beer, fags and flame-grilled McCoys, it spent all his money. But he didn't half have a thirst on. So when George went to the cellar to flush out the strong bowl line, the tiger drank all the beer from the kegs and all of the rum they were saving for Caribbean night. Then he ate the meat raffle. Very naughty tiger. Then he went to the toilet on the bar. This is going to sell a million. We're going to have to call you a mini cab home, tiger, said George, the deputy manager bursting from the cellar. Where do you want taken? To the zoo, you silly bollocks. So George, the deputy manager, called the tiger a cab. It took a while to get one because the first two, dri two drivers they sent said, Are you mental? Finally, Pavel from Station Cars agreed to do it. The journey went smoothly and eventually, after a lot of questioning, the tiger said, Look, for the last time, it's not a onesie. Weatherspoon's deputy manager, George, never saw the tiger or Pavel, the station car's driver, ever again. The End <laughs>